What's up, sports bettors? We're in the round of 16 for the U.S. Open, and I'm going to be sharing my picks and predictions. So sports books, they've started to release odds for the upcoming day. And people, you know, sports bettors always look to the main sports, NFL, college football, NBA. That's where they try to make money. But the truth is, sports books oftentimes slip up the biggest in tennis, right? It's two people going head to head. Not a lot of people bet on it. So the lines are much more inefficient. There's more line movement that you can take advantage of. So the sharp bet I have is going to be in Casper Rudd versus Moutet. So let's go ahead. Let's go through it. Now, the play I'm on is Casper Rudd minus six and a half on the game spread. So we can go ahead and we can kind of open up the entire you know chart to see what the odds look like. And as you can see, Casper Ruddy is a pretty big favorite. FanDuel's giving you the best price at minus 465. And Bet Online's giving you the best price on Moutet at plus 444 odds. Right? So as a sports better, you always need to get the best odds in your location. If you're placing bets at, you know, minus 550, minus 564, when another bookmaker in your location is giving you minus 465, then you're not going to make money sports betting. It's literally going to be impossible because you're already setting yourself at such a big disadvantage by getting terrible odds, by getting such worse odds, right? You can see bet online is a hundred cents away from FanDuel, right? Minus 465, minus 564. So why do we like this bet, right? This is kind of the next thing we should go through is why is this bet good, right? So the first thing you'll notice is no other sports books giving us better than minus 130. Right, So as a sharp, profitable better, the way the pros do it, the way the sharps do it, they're always looking for value. Right, They understand not every single bet's going to win. Like if we look at my Caesars account, you know we have bets that win, but you have bets that lose. Mets minus two and a half lost today. Nevada Wolfpack won. You know, UFC bet won. It's not about winning every bet. Right, It's about all of your bets having an edge and then placing really just a bunch of bets. You're not going to win every day. But when you have the edge over the sports book and you're finding bets with value, you're guaranteed to win in the long run, right? Just due to the law of large numbers, you're finding bets with value. So what you can see is Casper Rudd minus six and a half, you know, is good value. Bet online, a very sharp offshore sports book, is pricing this all the way at minus 136. In Pinnacle, which is the sharpest bookmaker, the most efficient betting market. You can see they only have 18 cents of juice baked into their market. Bet online has 20. You know, WinBet has 40 on the other hand. So using, you know, these low juice, low vig, high volume sports books, offshore sports books are very efficient betting markets. So what you'll notice is, um, you know, bet online is an arb to Caesars. You could literally bet on Casper Rudd minus six and a half on the game spread. In Mutet, you know, plus 116 on bet online, which are equal and opposite outcomes and earn a risk free profit. So, by definition, we know one of these bets has to be profitable, mathematically profitable. Then you can see Pinnacle, which is the sharpest bookmaker, is pricing this all the way at minus 130. So, this minus 115 also looks great to Pinnacle. So, the two sharpest bookmakers are making it pretty clear this bet's incredible, right? So, once you remove the VIG, you know, The true price is going to be minus 118.5 roughly. We're getting minus 115 on Caesars. So our bet is plus EV, right? With a 1.38% profit margin. So I went ahead, I hammered it as you can. So we've been doing very good on the US Open recently until, except for Marta. But regardless, I ended up hammering this for $2,500, you know, very tight market with. And again, it's a volume game, especially if you have filters on. You know, if you turn filters off, that's more for advanced sports bettors who, you know, kind of have a better understanding of markets, which bets are good, things like that. But if you keep filters on, you can basically blindly bet. You can literally just place as every single bet from the page, every bet in bold with a circle around it. And you'll notice over the long run, you know, kind of month over month, your profits are going up, right? So what I do recommend as well is in terms of bet sizing, place more money on bets that are clearly good, right? So this this bet, you know, was very clearly good. It looked great to bet online, a very sharp sports book. It looked great to Pinnacle. So, you know, bet, bet slightly more on it. Whereas something like this, you know, 
Um, uh, Ravens minus seven and a half. I mean, it's not a bad bet, right? It's still a good bet, but a slightly lower profit margin. The Betfair exchange is giving you plus 112, but granted, they only have seven cents of juice. So maybe you play this a tiny bit smaller, right? So anyways, I ended up locking in this bet, 34.50 in profit margin. Hopefully you're able to tail it um, for tomorrow for the US Open, some early line movement, and let's make some money.